hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in again if you are new to this channel then welcome to my family and if you've been here then welcome back so today we are doing a brand that i've never i've never reviewed before i've never used their products before um until i saw this lip line that they recently dropped i've been like meaning to get nyx products oh no i've used one of their palettes before but like i've never used their foundations or their lipsticks and i've been meaning to trace me just that um the coins were not allowing so <laughs> so now when i saw these lipsticks they were so affordable they literally retail on 100 runs per lipstick and i wanted to restock like my makeup kit so i went and bought like a bunch of these mostly nudes well they all are um, a range of nudes but like i took the nudes that i know would be mostly accommodating to darker skin because i mostly um deal with darker skin um people like i get booked by darker skinned people most of the times i do get light skinned people sometimes but mostly as the dark skinned queens just like me well also like it was like a fever to myself so yeah that's why i bought like the news that are mostly favorable for the dark skin on this range there's literally 12 shades and i bought six i picked up six out of those um out of the 12 of those shades so um because i was gonna re because i am actually reviewing this i thought why not review this foundation which has been making waves like last year it was like an in thing this foundation everyone was making a review about it everyone was just talking about it they can't stop they can't stop one stop foundation i wanted to get the whole range of um they can't stop one stop like um from primers to because they have a primer a foundation i think concealers and um i'm not sure what else is there but like they have a whole range of this can't stop one stop i wanted the whole range but like i said before they were just not allowing the coins like go nah like i couldn't afford it basically so now when i went to buy this i decided to just buy this as well so i've used these lipsticks um on most of my recent clients if you do go check my page on instagram which is double underscore on guys i will write it somewhere on the screen then you will see the matte beautiful nude lips that all my clients have there and they from these lipsticks and i was like no i have to make a review on these and just share how bomb they are with my clients i've also worn them i mean with you guys my service i've also worn them as well so i wanna i just wanna share my experience with you guys but before we get to the lipsticks let's um do just a mini review on this one you see it's still sold this foundation is still sold i have not used it so this is gonna be like a first impression kind of um review with you guys so yeah let's just open this and then in me oh yeah and then we're gonna get started with this video i just can't let you go so this foundation is said to be a matte um foundation a full coverage i think i do not know i honestly do not know if it's a full coverage or, or medium to full coverage but yeah it does say shake well before use and i took the shade deep rich i did not even test this you guys i just have a tendency of looking um onto a foundation through the bottle and just assume it is my shade which is a bad thing because i really i don't know why i did not test this foundation but yeah if it's not my shade then it's gonna be a shade for one of my clients that's the good thing about it whenever i buy something if it's not good for me it's not my shade i mean then i use it on my client if it's not good i don't use it on anybody other than me until i find a way to make it good and then i can use it on my clients yeah so that's how i do this thing so it also has a pump i'm done shaking it now it has a pump onto it so you're just gonna put okay it's a new foundation that's still on the pump oopsie there we go so let's just put two pumps onto there that looks like it is enough foundation and it looks like it is my shade because yeah this was the spill on the bottle it literally <laughs> 
it literally is my shade you guys this is my shade i could just tell from this bottle like i just take a bottle and do this sometimes yes it looks light when i put it like this but i know when i blend it in unless it oxidizes but when i blend it in and then it's just gonna come together so i had already prepared my face i did not put a mattifying primer on my face i just put the serums that i usually put and moisturize my face now let's dig in and get into this foundation and see how it actually is like it looks like it is full coverage to me literally like wow everything is just fading in okay i have already done my eyebrows as well you guys i've done my eyebrows and concealed them because there was no need for me to do them on camera because we are not doing brows today or a full face we're just reviewing this foundation well guys i really love the coverage on this foundation is like it's bomb it's 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 bomb <laughs> it's really bomb it like it just covered everything okay let's see you see this side i have a lot of dark spots so let's see how it does this like this side i can't see any marks appearing underneath it it just went and covered everything and just meshed my skin let's see this side how's it gonna do okay the, comparing this side to this side i feel like then it's not um really full coverage i can literally see my my acne spots this side so i think this foundation is definitely a medium to full coverage but not actually full full coverage because i can definitely see even though the brush i thought it was like keeping a lot of product i did go back in and took a little bit of foundation but still i can see my spots coming through there and yeah another thing about this foundation it is so lightweight it literally feels like i'm putting on moisturizer like right now on my face but let's just pack it and put all the layers to make sure that it is full coverage and then comment about this so let's hold that thought for now um that it is actually light lightweight and try to put it on like pack it on and try to cover everything and see and another thing it doesn't feel so dry on my skin you know some mattifying foundations tend to feel so dry on your skin once you apply them they just feel dry this one doesn't feel so dry it feels smooth actually it feels like moisturizer ish of some sort if i can put it that way and it has this luminous glow that is coming through um to it it doesn't completely like look like foundation on your skin if you look this side it does also like leave your face looking like skin as well so you can see here that my skin is actually still glowing and underneath it you can see it, it doesn't just blare everything and it's just like cake everywhere so that's another plus for this foundation i've had good reviews about this foundation i've never tried it and i'm not really giving it um, um, that much of a chance because it's late like doing it now and I'm not like gonna go throughout the day to like find out how it like how it um, to find out how it functions and how it holds up like throughout the day but like I will wear it again and then I will put up a comment on the comment section down below and I'll probably pin it and tell you guys how it does like throughout the day but for now we can tell that it is definitely medium to full coverage it has a very beautiful finish to it it doesn't really leave you cakey you can still see your skin glowing um, through the foundation um, what else is there it doesn't feel dry at all it is actually moisturizing your face it is not pulling all the hydration from your face but that as well is some it's a factor that you can determine like throughout the day on a foundation and I don't know if like when I'm done putting all the powders how it will hold up the mattifying part like the Yardley foundation that I used before like it is a matte foundation and when you apply it it had this effect on it and I thought maybe I was gonna end up being greasy but it really just held like on it it just I was mad like where I needed to be mad and I just looked good where I needed to look good basically so it is like such foundations are my type of foundation like and the pump that I put on the back of my hand the two pumps I'm like I pretty much finished there's a little bit of foundation left there so I'm just gonna put more foundation and then just apply all over my face and see how everything looks like
okay that is it you guys for the foundation this is how the foundation look like on my skin um, after applying it all over my face I had to build it up I think I put like two and a half layers you know like I put the first layer and I went in with the second one and then I had to go into the spots where I felt like um, there was a need for me to go over them again so overall this foundation really feels lightweight on my skin right now and please excuse the rain it is raining but I need to film so there's the rain noise please excuse it i know it will sound so ratchet um on this video and i'm so sorry you guys but yeah this is how the foundation looks like it feels so lightweight on my skin it is a mattifying foundation that i can tell and it is not cakey or making you like look so bled that you can't even see like the natural glow on of your skin underneath the foundation i can see the natural glow on my of my skin like underneath the foundation and yeah i don't know how it would hold up throughout the day so we're not gonna do that right now onto this video but overall i am impressed with this foundation so now i'm just gonna go on ahead and highlight my face and then put on powders and everything else and then i'm gonna and then i'm gonna come back to you guys so that we can get into the main thing which are the lipstick the push up lingerie lipsticks by nyx and i'm so excited about that part um i'm so excited to share it with you guys so yeah let's get done with this face and then we're gonna go on to the lipsticks okay guys so i am done with my face and i went and put on some earrings because i'm not doing anything dramatic on my face today i just really applied the foundation um highlighted my face and put on some powder bronzer highlighter you know all the shandies and i still feel good about this foundation it is holding on quite well so now let's go on to the lipsticks so these are the six shades that I bought um, of the NYX um, lingerie push up lip line and all these lipsticks are like um, matte lipsticks. So um, the reason why I picked these particular shades is because I felt like I sort of needed to have like a free range of lipsticks. If you notice these two, these are quite dark. It's like the reddish lipstick one um, which is in shade is in shade exotic i feel like you can wear this lipstick when you're going out basically on a dinner with a friend of course or maybe on a club or in on a late night out with uh, a friend or your date or someone so this is the reason why i picked this one and also for those brides who sometimes just want to play with color because there are those who like especially those who go like for traditional weddings those brides love to play around with color they like to have their lips bright as much as um, a wedding look i always try to keep it as minimal as possible so that it will be something that you will look at it in like 20 years to come and still feel like so beautiful and not feel like what was this trend you know like questioning like why did i go with that look why did i apply that but red is always a classic and this is like reddish but it's not completely red as well i really love this color lipstick and then the other one is this dark um lipstick one which is in shade after hours definitely after hours like you wear this kind of a lipstick like a dark lipstick like after hours on a night out on a date or just going on to a function like out so it is called after hours and then i have these two pinkish ones you see these ones now they were like particularly like literally for my bridesmaids and my brides like that i was satan off because they're like nude especially the dark skinned one you know they're like nude nude lips sometimes come out not looking so good but like these ones these kind of shades they always like complement the look and they leave your lips like with that pink undertone like the natural um actual lip color but it's not it's not so natural it's just i don't know but like i really love using this and my looks always come out looking bomb with this it doesn't matter the eye like eyeshadow color that i use but using these kind of colors always like brings out the best out of a look so the first one is this one which is kind of a darkish pink than the other one and this one is in shade french made this one and then the second one which is like a bit lighter than this um than the other one this one is in shade embellishment it is like a lighterish pink 
which has like sort of um, a more purple-ish undertone onto it as well whereas the other one has a more reddish pinkish tone um, underneath it as well and then I have these two these are like your nude nudes like these are like your nude nudes and they are mostly great on lighter skinned people this one they have like you know the brownish khaki-ish undertone onto them the first one is this darker one right here which is called push up kind of the name of all this range thing which is called push up i like to use this one on my like not so light but light um bridesmaids as well and brides um i haven't tried it on myself but i think it would look good on myself as well just as long as i use it with a lip liner um well i wear lip liner almost all the time when i wear lipstick so i'm gonna show you guys actually how i apply this and then the last shade which is like this lighterish one is called lace detail it is more lighter than the other one um, and it's still a nude lipstick so we're gonna start the test out using this lipstick it is called exotic and it is a reddish lipstick um, we're gonna start using it another thing about this lipstick is when you open them this one it has not been used yet um, they are this sharp when you look at them they are this sharp when you open them and this is how much product you get inside oh that's quite a lot oh my word it's still going up yeah that's how much product you get um out of this container which is like a lot of product as well i like the sharp detail on the lipstick because it will kind of give it like a smooth application especially around the edges of your lip you won't mess up a lot if it has this smooth uh, if it if it has this sharp um tip onto it and another good thing about this if you lose the sharp um tip on the lipstick because you've been applying it um it comes with a sharpener right on the back of it this is the sharpener of the lipstick you can literally sharpen it and make it sharper again and that's really cool about those lipsticks and then another thing when you applying them you literally do feel like they did not just make a drying like matte lipstick they did put in some essential oils or whatever products in them they have that minty tingling sensation it's not more like of a taste but it's like a feeling on your lips it's like tingling like minty like you know when you apply Vicks or menthol on your lips you get that sensation but it doesn't last that long um, on your lips you just get it and it's like refreshing on your lips basically and then yeah so now let's get on to the application of this um, lipstick No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Okay, that is it to you guys for this video these are all the lipsticks these are the swatches 
of the lipsticks these lipsticks are very creamy on the lips and as i said they are actually moisturizing and plumping your lips with that vixie like um effect you know the one you feel when you apply them so these are the lipsticks that i bought that i thought would be suitable for my skin tone and other skin tones of course but like these ones are the ones that i would wear mostly those ones for like my brides and myself these ones the pinkish ones and these ones too and this one this one the lace detail is like i wouldn't wear it i don't think i would wear it like yeah no uh no i think it will be more proper on like darker skin people i can only wear it with another lipstick say maybe if i just want to brighten like the center of my lips and then i put that lipstick on it is way too bright for me that's just my preference but it might look good for someone else and someone else might just like it seeing it how it looks on my skin tone so these lipsticks as i have already mentioned they are just creamy lipsticks they're all nude lipsticks um they they are plumping on the lips they do not mattify and go like dry and like they are not sticky as well you know like when you when you do this you know that they just met they are not sticky in terms of staining they wouldn't stain that much but like lipstick do stain also like unless they are like unless they are like those ones who are like drying you know the drying ones that are like thin as well they just dry your lips they never really stain those ones these ones i think they would stain but not that much let's try to test them and i'll just kiss the inner part of my wrist like this part of my wrist okay like this part i mean see there's like a little bit of staining going on there but it's literally a little bit so you can't really try over that otherwise overall for a beginner person these are just 100 rands and they are bomb and they are like actually quality for a beginner person i would advise you to get this and if you're a makeup artist just like me and you just want to start up your kit with like a lot of bomb quality lipsticks that are very much affordable i 100 advise you to go for those lipsticks they are actually like i really like them like i think i'm gonna go for the other six shades as well but like with time obviously but for now these are working quite fine for me and my clients as well so i'm just gonna keep using them and after this i'm definitely gonna go and buy monix products so that i can like try them out and share like and share like my thoughts and opinions um to you guys but overall the foundation and the lipsticks for now i give them a big thumbs up if you want to get them i would 100 percent advise you to go get them other than that yeah i uh, hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and if you haven't please do not forget to subscribe to my channel um and if you've been here then please just stick by for more content to come i love you guys so much and i haven't forgotten about the giveaway it is coming i just still i am still like thinking and organizing what to give away probably on the next video i will know um what is it that i will give away because we've reached like 500 subs that's why i'm doing a giveaway if you are new here but we are like now on 550 already which is so amazing you guys like ah it's really just it's amazing like i'm so happy we're already on 550 like looking to 600 subs so we are like drawing and drawing and drawing so yeah um on the next video i will do a giveaway and i think i will probably know and that will be like next week i'll probably know what is it that i should give away and yeah thank you guys for watching this video bye